My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are live this Monday evening. Give me an audio video check. Video, I can't even say video. We haven't even got started. <laughs> I can't even say video. Hello, everyone. Oh, just smashed your finger. Give me a uh, check in the chat. Make sure everything's been going. I just quit. I quit already. I, I give up. Now, we've been, I've been working on a bunch of stuff on the streaming rig, just trying to improve a few things, or at least setting a foundation to improve a few things when we move into the new studio. So I was a little scrambled. I just want to make sure I didn't break anything before we get started. Hello, Jill's Matt. back. Yes. I'm back. I was back last week too, wasn't I? Yeah. I don't forget. I was back it's last been week. so long. I think you were. But you know, not everybody's here every week. So I know. Looks like we've got a big crowd here already. And uh, we don't have a whole lot planned. This is gonna be a little old school. We're just gonna be engaging with y'all. I thought in a minute we might do a blind, let you set up a blind for me, but we'll let y'all pick what we're gonna blind. This is my thought. I pulled out a bunch of weeders, like every weeder I could find. I thought we might pick four weeders, blind them, see which weeder's the best. Well, that I, I sounds like a plan. Yeah. Amy is enjoying a detling after hey, that Amy. video. So appreciate that, Amy. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting whiskey. If, if you haven't had a detling, I strongly suggest you do so. Now it's got, like I said, it's got a lot of malt impact on it. Apparently not a lot of malt actually in it. But uh, <laughs> if you like it, you're going to love it. If you like a Chattanooga, you're probably going to love a Detling. You know what I'm liking tonight? What are you liking? I'm liking this Ben Holiday, <laughs> soft red wheat. Well, that's all <laughs> I've got. So don't drink it all. I need it for the video I was about to shoot with the oh, weeders. Oh, what? Yeah. I'll get another one, but like I, we've got Rick House proof. You can drink all that you want. I just I like need this that one. bonded. I like this one though. Here's your water. Uh, here's my waters. And we here's start your with Dr. the water. Slide it to your mm. side. What are you drinking? Uh, I am drinking a little Woodford Double Oak store pick here. Chris's Liquors. I think this one mm. came from Austin, Texas. Okay. And it is delicious. So we, um, it's got a little, got a little oak on it. That's for sure. Will tends to like these oaky ones, and he was here this weekend, so we had it out. That Ryan from Opelika in the house. Hi, Ryan uh, from Opelika. Jay, that Detling rye. Now, we didn't get to try his full rye. We were on our way to try the full rye when he got called to a trailer fire and had to go try to put out a you mobile home. You should have just said pie. Like, pie, pie, try? pie. I don't. I, I was going to try to make it rhyme, but I wouldn't, you know, let's My not get too hokey. glasses are not doing well today. What, what do you mean? You can't see out of them? Yeah, they're, maybe it's your they're eyes. very blurry. Maybe it's your eyes, <laughs> Jill. Um, so we, we did buy a barrel of his high rye. It was kind of a transitory barrel where he was experimenting with more rye, and it is fantastic. That one's really, really good. So I'm excited to get that one to y'all again. That one will be at the B team. He's applied for distribution in te to Texas, and uh, I'm hoping 30 days or so from now that that will be um, approved and, and he'll be sending those barrels over. Uh, he will be at the Spillway event, which we'll talk about here in just a little while. I'll talk about, I'll update you on all the places we're going to be and all the things that are kind of set in stone for the foreseeable future here in just a few minutes. Um, but he'll be there. I think they'll have the, the barrel that Spillway picked will be there. And then um, he'll be there signing bottles along with, I think, folks from Old Dominic and uh, Crittenton's. I think there's a small distillery in, in Louisiana. Like they've got a ton of distillery folks there signing bottles and hanging out. So that's going to be a fun event April There's a small 6th. distillery in Mississippi that we don't know about? I think they're in Louisiana. I could okay. be wrong. I think they're, that? Yes, there are lots and lots and lots <laughs> of tiny little... I mean, I, I think Detling looks like Jack Daniels compared to this distiller from what I've heard. Like they are just, you know, getting it done, okay. which that's I appreciate. I like the good. folks that are just getting it done. Man. That'll have to do, but that's not good. <sighs> I'm, look, I'm interested, one thing I'm interested in, we've got a Crittenton's Double Oaked coming. Now, I've got a Crittenton's Double Oaked, and I just thought it needed more oak. It did not have enough oak on it. And so I was like, we need more oak on this. And he's like, well, that one was only in the second barrel for six months. I've got one that's been in there two years. So we got one of those coming as well. Looking forward to that. 
Mark McPherson with the super chat. What are your thoughts on wild turkey barrel proof? I'm starting to learn wild turkey isn't my thing. Interesting. Um, I really like the I like wild turkey 101. Uh, if by barrel proof you're talking about uh, rare breed, I'm a big fan. Do you have you you've had rare breed? You just don't recall? I don't know. You want to try it? Sure. All right, we'll try it here in just a second, Mark. And then the second mark, Mark Hamlin, two marks don't make a right. Cheers all. Cheers, Mark. Thanks for showing up. What? Two wrongs don't make. It's the best I had, Jill. It's the best I had. It's it a bad joke. It was good. It, it, it'll do for the start. <laughs> Joe Thompson says, War Eagle from Madison. War Eagle. Madison, Alabama, I assume. Not Madison, Wisconsin, but. Uh, Could be. Have know. Jeep Will Whiskey is looking for a road trip partner mm. for Spillway. If you're in the Atlanta, Augusta area, let them know. That's a long ride by yourself. I've done it a few times. It's a long ride by yourself. And we're riding in Maggie, right? We're taking the Lincoln, taking baby. Maggie. Maggie is back on the road. She is hitting it with a vengeance. I'm, Thanks to a, I got a high school friend of ours. Yes, he came and helped me out. Got all the most of the leaks. There's one more leak to fix, and I'm going to need your help with that one, and you're not going to be happy about it. No, I, I waited like to break it. I, wait, I waited to break it on the stream. I don't like the, the stream. sound of that. Monday morning, I got to take it to Alex City, and I'm gonna need a ride back home. Like Monday morning, next Monday. Morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you taking Alex City for? Alex City transmission fixed a little transmission uh, leak. He gonna keep it, and then I'm gonna need to go pick it up Wednesday, and then we leave Thursday, headed to Brandon, Mississippi. Yes, we do. Because we've got a lot to do. Um, Friday. It's a busy, busy time. It's a busy, busy time. <laughs> Let me go over some of the events. I'm going to talk about some of the events while we get our palate warmed up. Then we'll do a blind. Uh, Joe Janney, have you had Parker's Heritage Double Barrel Blend? I personally enjoy it. Um, I have not had the Double Barrel Blend. The only Parker's I have is the, I think it's the rye. Is it like the heavy char rye? I, I don't know. It's out of this world. Out of this. I, like, I'll buy another Parker's if I find one at a reasonable price, just based on that. Um, Titan Clay just wanted to say, I love your videos and I've been binge watching them. You really inspired my bourbon hunting and helped me learn a uh -huh. lot. I apologize for the mm -hmm. uh, damage it has done to your budget, but I know it did. So glad you learned a lot, but I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, all right. So Friday, 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 Jim, Friday. April the 6th, Friday, Friday. Friday, April the 6th, yep. a week from this coming Friday, we're going to be in Jackson, Mississippi. At Cathead Distillery, which makes Old Soul, and we're going to we're going to be there in the morning. They're going to be bottling up our barrels that we picked, our right. barrel picks. Uh, but Saturday, or Friday, excuse me, we're going to have a party. Now it does cost some money. I mean, we're not making anything on it. This is all to the distillery um, to cover the cost of the event. But they are. It includes a Glencairn. It includes a tasting. Uh, so you get to taste a bunch of their whiskey. And you come, it's like... Grant says April 5th is Friday. April 5th is Friday. What did I say? 6th. 5th is Friday. The 5th, 6th is Saturday. The 5th is Friday. Sorry, I'm not good with dates. Um, so the 5th, we're going to, you know, 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's 25 at the door. Um, there should be a link. They're dropping here to, uh, if you want to, you know, sign up ahead of time. We just do that little, little bit of a cheaper price, but we know how many people are going to show up that way. Um, I think it's the first 50 people through the door will be able to try a barrel of whiskey and then choose which one they like the best. At the end of the night, they're going to have that barrel pick bottled up for you to buy from them right there at the distillery. That's and they'll crazy. be giving tours and That's doing all awesome. sorts of stuff. And we're just going to hang out and have a good time. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And then obviously Saturday, the 6th, Grant. The 6th is going to be um, the event at Spillway where we're gonna do an infinity barrel. Now, that's gonna cost two. We gotta find some way to cut, like I've spent, I can't tell you how much I've spent on this barrel, <laughs> um, but um, it's going to be, it's like five bucks, bring a, bring a full bottle of bourbon um, or Tennessee whiskey. Let's just stay away from finishes. I mean, if it's a double oaked, fine, but not, not anything crazy finished. Five bucks, cover the cost of the sticker and the labor for the folks that are going to have to bottle these things. You get to dump it in. We'll sticker it. Take your bottle with you. A little later in the day, once it's full or once everybody's there, we will start pumping those things out. Now, I did a little math. 
Did a little math. This is why we math? have. This is why we have to charge. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I did a little math, and You're if good it at math. if it takes us a if we fill this barrel up, mm -hmm. and it takes us a minute to fill each bottle, which is very possible. I did some tests. It was like forty five seconds, and that's just filling it. That's not like getting a bottle, uncorking it, corking it back, handing it somebody. If it takes a minute, the way we were going to do it was going to take four hours to fill it up yeah. to to fill all the bottles. That's a long um, time. So. I've devised a method to cut that into a much, much smaller number. We think we can get it done in under an hour, but it's going to take like eight people to do it. So it's going to be fun. You, it, worst case, you get to see us struggle because <laughs> yeah. math. You know, <laughs> you know like math. we're going to try to bottle a whole barrel of whiskey in a parking lot without the proper equipment. Is this like bourbon math? It's, it, it's some kind of math. We're going to see how it all adds up, but... I bought a fancy pump, and I've got a bunch of fancy dispensers on the way. We should be able to make it work. Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Kuve one? One. We'll just go with one. If money were no object and you could have unlimited amounts of a single bourbon for life, what do you choose? I mean, I would normally go with William LaRue, but, like, I don't always want cask strength. Um, so, still, probably going to be William LaRue. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I mean, maybe Pappy 15, Coil which is, Hill. you know, kind of, yeah, but again, super high proof. Super high, yeah. You know, a Pappy 15 is going to be similar, not as good as that William LaRue, but it's also 107 proof. Mm -hmm. So maybe something like that. Um, Weller Antique 107, something of that nature. Into BBQ. Greetings. Enjoying the stream with an Eagle Rare. I'd like to see a Buffalo Trace low end blind. Ooh. Buffalo Trace Eagle Rare, Weller Special Reserve Blanton's, and EH Taylor Small Batch. Interesting. We'll Tonight? see if I get, yeah. Oh. I mean, what, what else are we doing? We're not doing anything know. else. We might as well. And I, I and I missed that. He super chatted that right at the end of the stream. I don't know if he was behind, but as soon as I cut the stream off, that super chat oh, popped up on week? the last one. So well, We should do that. Um, there you so go. That's go. it. That, that is what we will blind here in just a minute. We're going to do a low-end Buffalo Trace blind. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got okay. Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, Weller Special Reserve, Blanton's, and E.H. Taylor Small Bank. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know if I'd consider all of those low end necessarily, but those are the affordable ones. Affordable. Yeah, man, I'm loving this double oak though. Oh, it's got a lot of oak now. It gets better though. The more you drink it, the more that oak Ooh. starts to tame down a little bit, yeah. or at least your palate acclimates to it. I get orange and like... I see where you can get that. Like yeah. a creamsicle. Mm -hmm. We have a craft distillery here in Louisiana called... Leses Verses, a three-man operation that's pretty good. I'm bringing a couple bottles to Spillway. I'm wondering, they've got a small um, distillery from Louisiana, I think, that is going to be there. I'm wondering if that's what that one is. Buck, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe so. They may actually be there. Uh, I know they bought a, some whiskey from them or some something from I don't know if it was bourbon or whiskey or whatever, but they bought something from them so that they um, they would have something there to sell. Uh -oh. Total butterscotch. Total, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still get that kind of vanilla oak, I like but I, that. I think it's a ton of butterscotch. On I that like for sure. that a lot. Yep. Giovanni says, just clicked in the stream and you're drinking what I'm having right now. Well, great minds think alike. <laughs> There's nothing. What'd you give me an empty glass for? I just passed I was just you, like, I just passed you my glass lights. and I took your glass. What the heck, Jim? <laughs> Making me look like a fool on stream. I thought there was like one little sip left because I saw it and I thought that's what you slid no, back over No, I already here. finished that and you oh, told me not to mercy. drink any more of it. So. Yeah, don't drink any more of that. Don't drink any more of that. I took yours. You want to do a bottom end Buffalo Trace blind? Um, sure thing. How many do we need? Cool. Um, so you, the colored ones are... Put that anywhere. The colored ones are over there if you want to use those. Uh, I don't think it really matters that much for this blind, but it might. Um, how many of those? We have five. We have five of those. So let's go for yeah. five. We have um, five. All right. Buffalo Trace Low End Blinds. So I'm blinding them for you, right? Yes. We gotcha. Yes. But remember which ones they are. I mean, I'll I mean, we do have a Hancock. I'll let's take see. My picture. Let's see what our options are here. So that we know. Try to look at what he said and make sure. Um, so we don't have an E.H. Taylor small we, batch open. All we have is a single barrel. I will grab a small batch, but that one's going to be a fresh Buffalo cork Trace. pop. Eagle Rare, Weller Special, Blanton's, and E.H. Taylor small batch. 
I mean, that is a Buffalo Trace store pick. Is this one a store pick? This one, this one's not a store pick. Go with that one. All right, he said Blanton's. Um, yep, and E.H. Taylor Small. Make sure I don't accidentally grab like a Takara Red. So we didn't say anything about Hancock yet. Okay, well, what? Blanton's, right? Did we say Hancock? Uh, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare. That was Eagle the other one. Eagle Rare. Um, I may have distilled all my Eagle Rare. Oh, here, <laughs> look, there it is. Got one. Got um, one. So Eagle Rare, Buffalo Trace, Weller Special. That's yeah. what he said. Can you get to the Weller Special Reserve? It's over there behind the Blue Label Weller. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four. That's five. So let's just get the Hancocks out of there. And then I will go get a fresh cork pop E.H. Taylor small batch. Because those single barrels can be pretty dang good. So no, okay, no Hancock. Gotcha. All right. Any open bench mark bottles, Grant says? Yeah. Yeah, this one, right? I mean, I've got several. The problem with those this, benchmarks. It, the lid will That's not. the problem is I just think I think they've gotten muted. I think the flavors are muted. Because this lid Because the lids on. just don't stay on them. So I, I wouldn't trust them in a blind if that's what y'all are asking. I'll have to get some fresh ones, but those lids just don't stay tight. And so every time I go back to them, they're not great. I do have a Rock Hill, James. So I tell you what, we'll blind this, and at the end... I'll kick the winner up, and we'll do a blind against some of the higher-end Buffalo Trace stuff. How about that? Does that seem fair? How about that? Um, you, I don't have a knife on me. You got to see a bottle opener over there? Might be able to get it from the bottom. That. Yes, got a little. Gotcha. Little knifey poo. Little knifey poo. I'm really good. I'm very, very skilled at opening things. Like, I am very professional. I really like that double oak. That's good. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? Uh, but we, and we got a pick. We're supposed to be getting a wood for double oak pick. Oh, really? At some point soon, yeah. Awesome. We've got a whole bunch of Jack Daniels stuff. We, we're supposed to be getting all the Brown Foreman stuff sometime. Hopefully all of it at some time no, this I'm year. I'm looking forward to Jack Daniels. Are we going there? Uh, not these first rounds. Oh. Not these first rounds. What? Well, that's how we could get them now. We would have to wait. I don't like that. Well, I mean, we we but I want them, and I want to go and get some later. Right? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, so we've got five. We've got five glasses. Seems okay. seems fair, right? Mm -hmm. Seems fair. I don't have my palate warmed up at all. Fair? So I'm going to be completely and totally wrong about these i've done no practicing whatsoever we've got a tube let's see how much noise a tube makes Ow, that was loud a lot of noise uh two questions for you bruzel have you ever heard of or tried tom's foolery from outside of cleveland ohio and are you planning to do the 150th kentucky derby so matthew um i'll be up for derby week i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to go to the derby um and i have not heard of tom's foolery I'm going to try to read all of these Super Chats. They'll pop up here in a minute. They're running a little bit behind. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab them before I step out to do the blind. So Stone says, yeah, I took profits in Bitcoin. I got myself an old Elijah 12, two old Weller 12s, and one old Weller 107 from 2004 in the old round bottles and third ever 2014 release of Stag and more. If you're in Canada, let me know. That might be uh, worth the trip to Canada, man. It we want to go to Canada delicious. anyway. You know, we were talking today that uh, the train, they got a like, the yeah, Amtrak yeah. runs up to Canada, goes all up the East Coast. Yeah, we could do the, We could do the East Coast trip on a train, though. <gasps> and then just we could just go to this city, get out, bourbon hunt, and then have Ooh. a ticket to the next city. Cool. Jeff Tripp got my Bruzel picks in the mail today and just opened the Jim Beam Distillate bottle, which is also reminds me of a mild Booker's. Those are fantastic. And you're talking about the Jim Beam Toast. Um, which I think might be a, I think it might be a Booker's barrel, to be honest with you. Um, I can't keep up. Leaving Omaha to Nashville to visit mother-in-law. Any honey holes to look for in Nebraska? We have Fireball and Jack Daniels number <laughs> seven. Uh, right now, if J-Rock is um, in the chat, J-Rock, let that man know some places to go. He is in Nashville. He will definitely be your hookup. We did a bourbon hunt in Nashville. Uh, make sure you look at that one. That will give you some ideas there as well. Don't really know much about the trip other than that. So, 
Uh, the ads are turned out to like almost nothing, Whiskey BS. Well, yeah, that would be awesome. So Jill's going to pour these. I'm going to step out of the room. You're going to talk, and I'm going to pour. I mean, I'll, I'll talk. keep talking, but... Because it's hard know, for me to talk and Jill pour. can't do two things at once, y'all. I That's can't. too much to ask for. Sorry. Mm -mm. Can't do it. I'm in here in a new studio, which got the tile done. Y'all going to hear an echo now. Mm. I'm going to step out of here and just look at it. <laughs> That's too much echo. Um, so a little bit of echo. But we've got the new studio kind of roughed in. The walls are dirty. They got the walls dirty doing tiles. So I may have to literally paint the walls again to get them clean. But I'm hoping after Spillwave, this new studio, we're going to start setting it up, try to get everything ready except for the shelves. And when we get back from Spillway, I'm hoping that the shelves are done um, so that sometime, you know, they'll come set them up sometime by the end of April, I hope to be in the new studio. And when we're in the new studio, we're going to slowly start evolving this live stream into something bigger, something more produced, uh, bring more guests in, do more cool things, um, have more, you know, games and giveaways and all sorts of crazy stuff we're going to try to do. So that's one of the reasons I spend a lot of time right before these streams trying to improve, like, it, the improvement I try to do today that y'all may or may not notice is when you super chat, the the box around the amount that pops up is now the color of the super chat on YouTube and the lights behind me dim to that color. Um, I think the, the yellow one may be going a little green for some reason, but I literally ran out of time to get that color dialed in. Um, but the rest of them should show blue, you know, should show orange, things like that. Um, and, but that's, you know, I mean, that's not super exciting, but that means in script, I have that and now we can do something cool with it, um, as we evolve the stream. So, um, just gives us a lot more crazy stuff to do. All right, Thomas. All right. You ready? I, I they're tired of hearing me ramble ready. about stream enhancements. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Let me get this too, by the way, before I slip and fall and break my back on it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Alrighty, my voice sounds holy. Yeah, I was, I was, I walked into the room and it was all like a big it's echo. All empty. And then I <laughs> stepped out and I'm facing the room because I don't want to look this way, and it's still just kind of echoing back. So I'm sure it was big and boomy, boomy. Hello, boomer. Alrighty, this is gonna. Which one do I think is going to win this blind? E. H. Yeah. Taylor because it's fresh cork pop. Um, maybe Eagle Rare Blanton's, but I, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a dog in this fight. I, at this point, I literally don't care. Andrew Price, if you had to pick from a forty dollars raffle win, would you pick full size Blanton's and uh -oh. mini E. H. Taylor Small Batch and Blanton's mini Old Forster nineteen twenty four Weller one hundred seven? Jill did shenanigans again, apparently. You color-coded them again? I did not, but that's Weller 12 and not Special Reserve. But you told me it was the one behind the... Well, I just... Okay. Here. Um, tell you what, it's fine. I'm just going to bounce. And I'm going to figure take, out which one take was... Take which one it is, and then just okay. pour it. Don't give it a, Don't pour I'll it away. I'll drink it. Pour it into another Glen. Okay. And then you don't even have to rinse the Glen. Just pour Weller Special Reserve, the green label, into this one. Just gotcha. Um, so right now, for Sorry. a $40 raffle win, I mean, you take the 1924 because they're so hard to get, and they're like 130 bucks or something like that when I see them. Um, that would be the one I would take because that one's the hardest one to get. Outside of that, on a normal day, E.H. Taylor. Or, well, what Weller. Now, on a normal day, Weller. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank Missed that one. Thank you for catching that because I sure did. <laughs> Lord. Freaking, she, she was trying to mess me well, up. No, you told me there's one behind this well, one. Well, I mean, it was behind there. I just. It's behind Antique Well. Okay, sorry. I didn't realize I had to be that specific. Well, you do. I do. You do, boo. There you go. Got Look it now. You. Okay. All right. You can leave. I'm just going to walk back this way. I'm going to walk back this way. Thank I can't sing a lick. Thank but I wonder if I can sing that. when I'm in this boomy I sure doorway. I didn't. I can't sing All right, so let me just double check which one I poured now. it in. All right, so it was this one. So now I'm going to pour that in here. Mm -hmm. Still doesn't put me in tune. Should I rinse it? it out? Nah, it's fine. They're close enough. Okay. This ain't science. We ain't this that serious. not science. 
Echo. This, this ain't science. Echo. Mm. So we're going to have to figure out the echo in here, that's for sure. All right, you can come back now. We got to figure it figured out now. Hopefully when it's not a big empty room, the echo goes away. Thank y'all for looking out. Y'all always look out for us. <sighs> did you do it right this time? Think now I is did, it right? Did I do it right is this it right time? Now? Are we is good? Because right I think I did it. <sighs> Man. Lord have mercy. What are we dealing Look, with? Look, I was just following your lead. In a world where Jill never no. gets the whiskeys right. Uh-uh. I was following your lead. Mm. That's your fault, not okay. mine. It's my fault. I didn't pay no attention. Did not pay any attention. So y'all let me know in the chat right now. Which of these do you think is the best? Give me your order from Eagle Rare, Weller Special Reserve, Blanton's, E.H. Taylor Small Batch, and Buffalo Trace. Weller 12 would have won? Possibly. Possibly for sure. Possibly is not for sure. But I'm just saying, it had a real strong chance, yes, of winning this blind. Hmm. That's good. But all these are good. Needs to be an AA Ron pick. A. We, need to use, we need to use dirty glassware. Is that what it is? Oh, like yeah, you, you can't we have, to have dirt, glasses. We, that's what we should have done for the infinity barrel is eight, because they're all dirty they're all dirty bottles. You pour the bottle in there and then we just pour your whiskey back in it. Oh, we should have. <laughs> we should have done that. AA Ron. That's inside baseball for those that don't know. Oh, AA Ron doesn't like that we wash Glen Cairn sometimes during the stream. Nope. Can't wash dishes. Amy wants to know, are we coming back to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, maybe. I think so. That That's the plan at this point. I mean, they gave us media passes. They would have to give me media passes again. Um, but if they did, yeah, of course. Thank you, Rob. Jill is always right. Everybody knows the rules. Jill is very right. Everybody knows the rules. One bite. Everybody uh. knows Jill's right. Yes. Do I knew, know who Caitlin Clark is, the basketball player? Yeah. Uh, Kyle's picking the Eagle Rare first. Wow. Mm -hmm. A.A. Ron was on not. Facebook, so he's not. We're only on YouTube now. Uh, All the YouTube folks got mad at me because we were streaming on other places and <laughs> not just paying attention to this chat. So for those that don't know, this is the only place we're streaming this stream. We may do a second stream at some point. That'll be a little bigger and more produced and a bunch of crazy shenanigans. And we might stream that one to multiple platforms. Might we? We might. Calvin says, did we go to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival? They had asked us to come down. We had agreed to come down. And then they told us not to come down. So then we didn't come down. <laughs> yeah. That's basically how that went. So maybe they, they're like, hey, we got some stuff going on. We can't deal with it. Maybe next year. And we're like, okay, next year then. But it was the plan up until, like, last Monday, I think it was. Yeah, I'd already booked rooms. Yeah. So. Oh, well. I'm not going to be able to guess what these are. I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all know. I'm not going to be able to get. I'm not. These are not getting right. It's been so long since I've drank any of these. Maybe outside of a little bit of Eagle Rare. Like, I haven't touched these in months. What's the worst bottle in my collection? Uh, Dickel Tabasco. Frey Ranch is a yes, yes. Spawn. Frey it's Ranch an is a yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Jay needs some Arizona whiskey friends. Anybody in Arizona? Scott says, thank you, Bruzel and Jill, for piquing my interest in bourbon. Sipping on still Austin. We did a pick with them once. We did, we did. did. We did that in the, there. yeah, you were not invited to that I one. I wasn't invited. You got though. uninvited. Can you believe he uninvited me? That's not cool. I should only uninvite myself. I probably did uninvite myself. You, you did, yeah. <laughs> I probably did. This one's muted. Like, this one's just tame. The bourbon retriever is flying to 13th Colony this week. Can't wait to finally see the distillery for myself. Awesome. What, awesome. Are you, what are you coming in for? Just for fun? For kicks and giggles? <clears throat> I've not tried the Reverend Nicholas. 
Andrew just subscribed to the Discord over the weekend, and everyone has been a huge help. Oh, it is a awesome. fantastic Discord. If y'all like just hanging out and talking about whiskey in your own Discord, or you want to learn how to figure out Discord, then <laughs> there should be a link in the uh, description of the video. I'm sure somebody will drop it in here. Um, this one is just off. The bourbon retriever is picking up the 15th anniversary bottle from 13th Colony. Oh, he won the, the anniversary bottle. Oh, awesome. That one that one's throwing me off right there. Oh, I have not had any broken barrel yet, Nate. I think you made Datling a must-have. Love the video. Mm. He did text me, and he's like, man, I, he was at the New Orleans Bourbon Fest. Well, I wished I'd have win. I didn't realize all those folks were going to be there. But um, he's like, yeah, I've been like, – 20 or so folks have just walked up to me and from your video, Aww. and I was like, I'm not used to being that recognized. And I was like, man, it is only the beginning. Yeah, that was an awesome video. I really hate that I didn't get to go on that one. That would have been fun. But he'll be at the spillway thing? He so will be at the spillway thing, yes. Yep. That I just, I love small distilleries. Okay. That, like, you know, really care about the whiskey. That's why I love Frey Ranch. I think I would love... To go visit Detling, I'm sure you'll go back at some point. Oh, I'm sure I'll go back at some point. We'll definitely do more picks with Detling. Um, and I, I think the audience, I think folks that are watching that video, like looking at the comments, we always get a bunch of hate comments. Now, this one hasn't branched out yet to get as many views, but um, all the comments seem to be extremely positive. So, Yeah, great video. All right, so I'm going to take a little break, and then I'm going to go back through. I'm going to try to guess what they are. I don't think I'm going to get it. Hey, I, don't, Josh. I don't think I'm going to get it at all. Josh Gamble, hello. He said, what's up, TJ? Josh in the house. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're definitely having some more conversations with old Dominic, um, so I'm sure we'll be back up in the Memphis area at some point, Josh. I don't know when that'll be, though, but I'll let you know when it happens. Benji hitting the bourbon trail in September. Any favorite mm. distilleries I should add to my list? Dude, all of them are fantastic. Make sure you venture off and try a few small ones. I, I haven't been through That's all of them yet. We like we, we want to. Our, our goal is probably not going to happen this year because we're having to go to so many events and bourbon hunts, try to get all the states done. But next year, we're going to try to like spend two weeks on the bourbon trail just going to as many of these as and we possibly can. And maybe we just can. take a bunch of patrons with us. And just have fun. Like, maybe I don't like I don't I don't, I don't know. Y'all might, might have to pay your own way. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be tough, Gio. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Did you hear of Detling whiskey before the Bruzel video? Eighty percent said no. Okay. And 19% said yes. So well, there you go. You've introduced Detling to... Well, I mean, he's only 80%. like pretty much in Alabama audience. and Mississippi as far as I know. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't, like, he doesn't sell a ton of whiskey. He's, he's smaller um, than, than uh, Crittenton's as far as, like, how much they produce and how much they sell. So <laughs> definitely the smallest distillery we've done business with thus far. Yeah, Grant, like your to-do list isn't long enough. Oh, That's what's Add on the to-do to list. Our bourbon. Oh yeah, um, next year though. Next bourbon year. trail. Next year. Patron trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we love we, you, Grant. We want to do you. those types of things. <laughs> we want to do those things where you know, can we go up there and rent a place and just can we work with some of these distilleries to maybe set up tours and different things that are just for us and our, you know, and you know, for y'all. And so, can we do like special events? Uh, we'll see. So, what's in the blind? These are all just Buffalo Trace products. What the the blind was low end Buffalo Trace stuff, but that includes E. H. Taylor and Blanton's. I don't know if you'd call those low end, but there you go. Deadly in Louisiana, so he, he might be in Louisiana as well. You know what? What is it? I prefer the Woodford over that. You prefer the Woodford over the Weller 12? Yes. I do. Well, you're an easy girl to please then. 
I mean, technically, I mean, the, that's good. Technically, the Weller 12 is a cheaper bottle than the Double Oaked. I mean, that's good. Don't if get me you wrong. Get them in MSRP. I enjoy that, but I actually enjoy yeah. that better. So, can you pass me that? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, don't be subtle about it, Jill. Uh, that's what's crazy. So, I've, I've been talking to the team. One of the things we've got to do is make sure our messaging is a little more obvious because. Not everybody gets the subtlety. And so, like, they're, like these are super allocated, and they're delicious. And, you know, I love an E.H. Taylor. I really like a Blends. I love Eagle Rare. But there's so much good whiskey out there that's just available sitting on shelves. Now, some of it you got to hunt, like a Detling. But I would rather go find somebody like a Detling, even though I don't like the, you know, the toasted malts. Um, I would rather find somebody like a Crittenton's than to just buy another overhyped bottle. I do have some Tennessee whiskey, Owen. <laughs> if I had to guess, that's, that's the E.H. Taylor right I'm there. I'm sorry, that's just really good. What's the proof on this? It's like 90, Yeah, I think. like somebody asked us, maybe last stream, I think it was their wife or their girlfriend or fiance or somebody. They were trying to get them into bourbon, and they were like, "What's a good begin?" Like this is. Well, that's usually on my list. Yeah, I think that's this usually would on my list. What for I double would Maybe not a store pick. Store picks can be a little too oaky for folks. I don't. I think that. SB, have you tried the Burnham Weeded Whiskey Barrel Proof? Yes, I've got it. Right, it it was sitting up here on the bar. It's like literally right over there by Jill. Um, I like it. I think it's really good whiskey. Um. Giacchio? She, I, I can't pronounce that. Sorry. Uh, took me some time to locate it, but I got a bottle of Michter's Barrel Strength Rye Limited Release. Keep up the good work. Hey, you got a score. That was awesome. Hopefully you didn't overpay for it, but good stuff. The problem is, too, lately I've been drinking a lot of finished whiskeys. Yeah. Super flavorful, high proof wow. stuff. And now a lot of these I'm just finding good but basic. Do we ship to California? Yes. Our, our, the Bruzel Club does, yes. That's so good. We got to go to switch to our professional. <laughs> got to do the Dr. Pepper rinse. DPZ rinse right here. For some reason, the E.H. Taylor is my least favorite in this blind. Ooh. I would say it's my favorite. Just or and so it's the you proof. Think. The proof. It's the proof. I mean, so I think. Like if you just ask me, that's the one I would sit down and have a pour of first. Mm -hmm. uh, second, probably the Eagle Rare. I've been really liking that one a lot lately. Then maybe a Blanton's, then maybe a Weller Special Reserve, but um, sometimes I just like the Weller, so that might move up above the Blanton's. The Buffalo Trace is going to be the last one, but who knows how it does in this blind? Wow, Owen says, "How many different types of whiskey do you have?" Uh, different types? I don't. Yeah. Not many. Not many. I mean, I have Irish whiskey. I have Scotch. I have bourbon. bourbon. I have Canadian whiskey. I have rye whiskey. And then there's flavored crap. We'll just put all flavored crap in one one thing. Tennessee whiskey. So are you saying all flavored is crap? Because you said flavored crap. I didn't say that. Okay. I'm just saying. That's what you said. But okay. No, not all flavored. Like flavored stuff's not whiskey to me. Like okay. it can be flavored whiskey, but it's not like it's like you're just going for a different thing. It's a mixed drink in a jar. Right? And I'm not talking about finished whiskey. I'm talking about like Peanut butter whiskey, right? Or the moonshines. Technically, moonshine can be whiskey. Um, so it's, I don't, seven, I'm probably missing a couple, eight, nine different types of whiskey. I'm sure there's some American light whiskey around here somewhere. No Japanese? Uh, do have some Japanese whiskey. Then you know what I, and I then I have some, I have the, whatever that is. I don't even know what that stuff from. Uh, is sake from, Japanese whiskey? That's going to be, sake is going to be like wine. a wine. Yeah. Okay. I had that last night. It was good. Jeff, is Detling in stores in Mississippi and Alabama coming down from North Carolina to Spillway? I, I mean, just buy it at Spillway. 
they're going to have their barrel pick there. So if you're going to come down, just buy it there. And they'll have some Detling for sure, and they should have their barrel that they picked. Um, and Seth will be there to sign, sign it. Sign it. Yeah. So, Chris asked, um, next, oh, he said next stream should be a small distillery stream. That's a good idea. No, we're working on that. Okay. So we're talking, we're talking about maybe doing some on a stream, but they're also working on having distillers in the Discord. So a much smaller, intimate oh. thing. Not supporter only, like, you know, folks can, you know, the, the Discord in general. So we have them there, so it's not, you know, it's a smaller group. And maybe we have some of their whiskey. Everybody can go find it and buy it and, you know, source a bottle. And then you can sit there and try it while we have somebody from the distillery. Gotcha. So I know we're talking to Christian from Still Austin about possibly doing that and just kind of, you know, pioneering that format and figuring it out. But okay. we want to do more streams with folks like that. Realistically, though, if we bring in a guest, stream does worse. Like That's just the numbers. Mm. Um, which means the majority of folks don't want that. Okay. That's what that. That's what we read that as. Gotcha. Um, but you know, we don't always care about the majority as long as it's really, really fun. Hey, Mel. Mel says, "Hey, TJ and Jill." What's up, Mel? He's saying hi. And then sake is rice wine. Rice wine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was good. Uh, are you supposed to drink it warm or cold? Supposed to is not a word in my I'm vocabulary. I'm just wondering, like, what's like typical? Are you? Do you supposed to drink it? Because that was like. The, the waitress last night, she was like, do you want it warm? And we were like, uh, we don't really know. Like, warm or cold, I don't know. But sound it was warm. Sound like they gave you We options. got it warm, and it was good. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Tim says, have you tried the new Toasted Peerless? Picked up a bottle while visiting Rye, the distillery cat, this weekend. <laughs> Went to Peerless. You remember the distillery cat? Well, you weren't there for the... Peerless? You weren't know. there when we went with... Um, you were there when we went. We went on our own. I don't know I if we saw the cat. The, yeah, okay. we did. Um, I got pictures with the cat. I took, I took a go. selfie with the kitty cat. So um, I, yeah. I have not tried the Toasted Peerless. I want a Peerless pick, though. We're going to have to get one. Into BBQ, I ended up with E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare, Blanton's, Weller Special Reserve, and Buffalo Trace. You are moving through your blind faster than I am. <laughs> John, but I am running out of whiskey. App coming along. How's the app coming along? So if you're in the patron... It should be posted this week, I believe. Seth will let you know if he's in the chat. Um, but I filmed a whole video kind of going over some of the functionality. We've added several team members, and I've got like one or two more team members that I can add. I'm just trying to let the new project manager catch up and get things rolling. But a lot of the design work is done. Some of the development work is kind of fleshed out, and it is now time to hit the ground and start seeing some serious progress on the app. So still hopeful that by this summer, we're going to have something pulled together for y'all, but it's going to be by the summer. And Owen says, Owen says we don't listen, I don't listen. Because he just says vodka, 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 vodka. I see three posts from vodka. And so do you have vodka? Yes, I have vodka. So is that, I mean, is that what, is that what you wanted? Is that... That, that I listen now? I mean, first we, of all, we it's not vodka, listening. We own vodka, but we don't I mean, have you, a vodka, bruisal vodka. Like, I, yeah, and if you just want to be an asshole, you should ask, do I read? Because I can't hear you because it's text. But I'm glad you could spell vodka. Um. All right, so. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But we and vodka sucks. We don't really like vodka. We're not vodka. vodka people. Like, who wants whiskey made out of potatoes? That's not good. Well, some people I mean, technically like vodka, not whiskey. and that's fine. Vodka is made to not have any flavor. Like, literally, they make vodka to not have any flavor because it sucks. It is just like you have something with some flavor, and you want to add alcohol without adding any flavor. No. If you like vodka, that's perfectly fine. We just don't like vodka. Yeah, just probably not the stream for you. Yeah. Probably not stream for you. But I'm sure there's a vodka stream. Guarantee you out there right now somebody's talking about vodka. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Probably should and find that one. Yes, and I have a problem here that I've run out of whiskey. <laughs> well, and I'm trying to rank these. Not giving you any more, so you have to rank them like that. And thankfully I took a picture of them, so I know which one is which. Is 
Except for I have to replace the 12 with the reserve. All right, here we go. I got a locked in. Locked in. He is locked in. The last on my list. <laughs> Red. Mm. Red. You want to take a guess of what red is? It's just got a harshness on it, and it sucks because it, it has a little Eagle Rare flavor to it, and it's going to suck if that's Eagle Rare. And if, it, if it's Eagle Rare, it's because it's oxidized. I'm just going to guess it's Buffalo Tracer Blanton's, but I, I don't know. I told you, I, I'm, having a, I, I'm, I'm on the struggle bus. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace, okay. So Red is Buffalo Trace. All right, next to last, blue. Next to last is blue. Ooh, really? Well, I mean, I ran out of space. Like, I, I just, I, I, I ran out of whiskey to try. These three, these three, very close. Like, very, I could put these in any order, but I had to, like, put them in an order because I ran out of whiskey. I'm going to guess that blue is it's either Blanton's or Eagle Rare. E.H. Taylor. It's, that's the E.H. Taylor. Well, there you go. Yep. That's on the suck train right there. <laughs> that's E.H. Taylor. These three were close. Uh, there is a standout here. Um, we'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, next, black. And I think that's probably the Weller. That is the Weller. Yeah. Weller Special Reserve. Uh, and then green. Is that Blanton's? Green is Blanton's. So gold is Eagle Rare? It is Eagle Rare. Uh, that was by far the best yep. one. The winner. So this one was a standout. This one was a standout loser. So this one was great. This one was the worst one, Buffalo Trace. And all of these were really just equal. If I just be honest, these were equal. And I tried to rank them when I ran out of whiskey. Yeah. So the winner out of this, Eagle Freaking Rare. <laughs> Grant said fourth place, E.H. Taylor. <sighs> Fresh cork pop, too. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't tried it. And it's been a long time since I've had a small batch E.H. Taylor. We've been drinking the single barrel a little bit. I don't know what's up with my lights. They stuck on green. So apparently we're having a little issue with the lights. I'm going to fix that <laughs> real quick. Or maybe I can't. You can't fix it. No, oh, it's stuck. It is stuck, seriously. Maybe the next Super Channel. Like, I'm trying to turn them off. I can't even do that. Why has it got Ava's room? It's green. I like. Ava's room. My lights have lost know. their mind. So I hope you all enjoy the green because we may be stuck on it. Uh, good evening. What do you think of Penelope Rio? Uh, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Um, it is Amberana and honey, and I like honey. I don't like Amberana, so not good. Um, <laughs> Eagle Rare, Eagle Rare is good for sure. Well, I mean, I don't know what's up with these though, because normally, like, I can't even turn them off. So I made a bunch of changes, and they're not even responded. They're they are dead. I may have to unplug them and plug them back up to even get them. Liddy says, do you have a Mr. Sam tribute in your collection? Oh, no. No, 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 that, no. I'm not that lucky. Is that good? Uh, that's a super expensive bottle. I don't know if it's good. Like like any Buffalo Trace overhyped nonsense, mm. it's good. It's not worth, you know, a good used car. Uh, how much do you know about good times? I know that I've got, I don't know, 12 or 16 bottles of good times sitting over there. Like the small, um, I don't know what size they are, but they're really, um, well, I mean, I say over there, I think they got moved to over here. We've got a ton of good times. We've been having some conversations with them. I've got a lot of their finished whiskey. They sent me all sorts of weird finishes, man. Neapolitan, like all sorts of weird things. Cream sickles, and I'm going to take them to the team. Grant, Seth, Will, we're going to try them at Spillway. Maybe not at the event, you know, but, like, we're going to get together and try them and see if we like them. So, all sorts of weird things. Worst bottle on the shelf behind me? Oof, you're talking about middle shelf. I'm going to limit it right here. Middle shelf, RD1 Amberana finish. Probably 
RD1 probably has one of the best Amberana finishes on the planet. It's still awful because it's Amberana. So no hate on RD1. Um, outside of um, that one, ugh, that's tough. It's tough outside of that one. Did you forget the rare breed, John says? Did I forget it? What yep. do you mean by forget it? Did you forget the rare breed? I think we were going to try. try. You were going to try it. Get it? Um, yeah, we can. Just going to try it here in just a minute. Yeah. The lights did change to blue, but I don't know why they didn't go back to what they were supposed to go to. Mm -hmm. They're, they're Big all. J Big J Rock said, fire the tech guy. And Will said, I know. you uh, are the tech we go. guy. We got it. <laughs> we got it. We got them. Brizzle they were stuck. Is I don't the know. Tech guy. We're trying. I, I spent a lot of time working on these lights tonight. So they go to blue and green and all the different colors. And um, apparently there's still just a little bit of a glitch. Oh, wild turkey. That is cash strength wild turkey. Spencer says I need more volume. Spencer needs more volume. Then turn no, your speakers I up. No, I need more oh. volume. Jill. I told you that, but like there's nothing I can do because we're on the mics that don't peak when I, when I yell because I'm freaking loud. Is that better? I don't know. Maybe that's better. I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order new mics. I've I've been doing a little research. I haven't figured out which ones I want yet, but you're going to be on your own mic, and I'm going to be on my own mic, and that way we can control the volume completely independently. Uh, I bought these guys where I can boost them, but that's a little different than, like, having full sliders on the volume. So. Maybe that's better. I moved uh, into BBQ. That was a fun blind. Knew it was going to be hard. Well, we're going to bump this Eagle Rare up against maybe some higher-end stuff here in just a little bit. We are at 822, so... Give it just a few more minutes. I'm going to blind this versus some of the higher end stuff. See how it comes out. I don't know. Hmm. Silver Grove. I have not tried Silver Grove. Uh, redemption weed. I don't have a redemption weeded. Spencer said that helped. The me, volume? Me moving it you up. You just got to move it up, Jim. There we go. Jack Daniels Triple Bash Thoughts. I think it's pretty good. I like it. Do they water down cash strength to reach a whole number? I mean, not typically. So typically you just put what's on the label, like just round it, right? So if it's like 106 point something. Now with some of these, this um, is barrel proof. So I think bar I'm trying to like full proof is the proof it went into the barrel. So with like Weller stuff, it goes into the barrel at 114 proof. So when it comes out, they water it back down to 114, so it's always 114. With this, I don't know if that's what they're doing or if it's like, I think that's barrel proof, so that's whatever it comes out at. Whatever the batch comes out at, right? You're welcome, Liddy. Liddy said, thanks for reading my comment. Got super lucky with the Mr. Sam for MSRP, 249.99. We try to read all the comments. They're hard to read. You, we cannot catch them all. <laughs> but we try. Every once in a while, if you just say vodka 15 but, times, I miss it. Yeah. Then but you, then, you, then you call me out, and I might be like, what is so he is talking about? Is that Mr. Sam for two forty nine? That's probably... I, I would buy it all day. There. All day I would take awesome. that one. Now, it would probably suck if I was opening it, but still. Is there a chance Spillway gets overrun this year? I could see there being over 500 people. Not a bad problem to have. Just wondering about parking. Ooh. So well, it is a big shopping center. It's, they've got a lot of parking. There's a lot uh, of parking. Now, now, the other places may not like it because you may take some of their parking. Uh, it is possible there's over 500 people there. I don't know if there is. One of the reasons we put out the event um, pre, like prepay, so, so for those that have just joined us, um, on Friday before the spillway event, so a week from this Friday, we are doing an event at Cathead, Old Soul, and um, the first 50 people that show up get access to help us with a barrel pick. And they're going to bottle it up and have it there. It's like 20 bucks online. So look in the description of this live stream. Folks have been posting it. Our mods have been posting it. Um, so we're just trying to get a gauge of how many folks we're bringing from, from the B team. And that gives us an idea of how many folks over the number they had last year it might be. And right now, we're at about 90 people that have RSVP'd for that event. Uh, you can just show up and buy tickets, but it's going to cost you a little more. Um, so there's an incentive to go ahead and sign up. So, yes, there might be, I don't think it's going to be 500 plus, but I don't really know. If I had to guess, 
I mean, I think he probably had, a, what, a couple of hundred people there last year. I think there might be three or four there this year. How much Eagle Rare did you just sell? Probably none. <laughs> because all like most places, these just sell if they show up, honestly. Is World Whiskey Society bourbons any good? Um, I, had a, I have a World Whiskey Society uh, Japanese Mizunara Oak that I paid a fortune for. It has like a cool samurai head on it. It was like the second best finished whiskey in my lineup about a year ago now. Um, we did a blind. We tried like 13 or 14 finished whiskeys, and it came in second. So it was pretty good. Uh, did we miss up the Jill? No, I'm not. No, I'm I don't not. think so. Um, Andrew did ask, have we gotten a chance to try Old Raleigh yet? Um, I think that's on the list of people to talk to. I don't know if we've gotten anything from Old Raleigh That's a yet. great question. Grant, where are we at? I want to try Old Raleigh. What, what are we waiting on, Grant? I've seen their TikToks, and I've been saying Old Raleigh for a while now. I put it. I put the pressure on Grant right yeah. now. I, just, I know I'm sorry. Grant's trying. He's, I'm sorry he's I stressed said you out. He's like talking so some, to him. So. It's, it's still amazing to me how many distilleries just don't respond. Yeah. Like it's just, they just don't respond. So I don't know if they don't have social media teams or if they just don't care. Like, that's fine. Brian says, I think Fred Minnick is trolling you with the vodka comments. Fred Minnick? He's Fred not, Minnick's not no. in here. Okay. It, but somebody keeps saying vodka again. But yeah, it's okay. fine. Uh, the company. So I bought a company bottle in Tennessee but we can't try it until that video comes out. So that video will probably be out next week or the week after, then we could try it. I think next Monday, I'm not 100% sure, but I think next Monday, the Spillway folks are going to be here. Okay. I think Josh is coming. Um, I think Justin may come from Spillway, and we may have them here to do, I don't know what we're doing. We're just It's going to be shenanigans all over the place. So... Straight from the straight from the barrel versus stag blind. All right, let's roll for just a little while. We will do, we've done the low end Buffalo Trace blind. We will finish this stream with the high proof blind. So we will do E.H. Taylor barrel proof, stag junior, blend straight from the barrel, and if I can find, if I can find, it's probably, it's probably muted. It's probably like oxidized. If I can find a benchmark foolproof, but honestly, I don't think I can find it. Um, I've pulled some benchmark stuff out. I have a foolproof somewhere. Don't know where it is. Probably can't find it. But we will pull any of the E.H. Taylor foolproof stuff. After this stream, I will be over in Discord hanging out with the supporter only chat. So if you join patron, even at the lowest tier, make sure you link your Discord. You can jump over into that chat. That's really where it's super easy to ask me questions. Everybody can talk. We can have a good time. When are the new picks coming out? Jill doesn't know. I haven't told you. This is a surprise for Jill. I don't know what. The Frey Ranch pick is now available for our retailer. to. It's at the distributor, ready to go to the retailer. So we've got two Ben Holidays. We've got the Frey Ranch pick. We're doing those at the same time? They're ready to go. I didn't say we're doing them at the same time. I said they are ready to go. Mm. We are waiting on a few more barrels before we announce the next release. We are expecting the next release to be late April. That is our, that is our goal. We are hoping we've got three or four Crittentons there. Um, we might have the old soul there. Like we're hoping for a lot of barrels and then we kind of, you know, pick and choose which ones are best for that release because we want a bunch of headliners, like the ones that are super desirable, but we don't want to burn them all because you can't get, you can't get headliners for every release, right? I mean, you can, but you can't get like four headliners for every release. So we've got to decide, you know, are those, is the fray going to go with the holidays? We got a decision to make. Y'all let me know, should we drop the Frey Ranch with the holidays? Let me know in the chat right now. You don't think we should? Oh, no. I'm just pre-reading comments that I'm not going to comment on. It's Was fine. it the one that got deleted? No. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. I, now I wish I'd have seen it because yeah. Florida sounds like shit. 
Brian Lowry, looking forward to seeing you guys at Spillway. Do you know if there will be another Bruzel Bundle basket Ooh. this year? A Bruzel mm. Bundle basket? Yeah, last year they had the Bruzel Bundle thing for a Spillway. They did. Probably yeah. not this year just because. So the Bruzel Bundle last year at Spillway were all the picks I went on. So we went oh, and we filmed the video of right. all the picks. Now, like, no, probably not. The, that was after the... Um, Spillway event. Well, we that was the second them. event. Yeah. That was the second, second event. event. That's what it was. It was the. It was when they released those barrel picks. So it wasn't mm. this event, but it was when they. Re it was the last time I was yeah. at Spillway. Um, I don't know. They might so do I, some sort of bruise. I doubt it, but they something? like it wasn't know. on his list. So maybe. Oh, and someone said, "Are we coming to the Carolinas?" We are, as soon as possible. Yes, That's don't know when. That's plan for this year. But. Um, just hasn't been like. Yeah. Solidified, yeah. But we're coming this year. Patrick Key, Frey Ranch Bruzel Pick, how do I get? So sign up for the patron. Patron.com forward slash Bruzel. Um, we have a whole Bruzel Club where we release these, but we will post information uh, and, and then you'll be tiered uh, based on patron. Um, we will, we try to do a big release every other month. We try to give you a month to just recover because it's a lot, I get it. It's a lot of whiskey, there's a lot of cool options, but we've got so many picks. I can't even, I don't, what if, we might have 15 or 20 barrels already selected right now that are on their freaking way. What's up? High Times is a new viewer getting into bourbon. Thank you, Bruzel. Well, well, I appreciate glad you. Glad you're here. Yeah. I enjoyed a pour that leaves a long aftertaste. Proof doesn't matter. What would you recommend? Thanks for the great content mm. and the hard work. Man wants a serious act. Like, have you had Woodford Double Oak? Uh, have that, you had a Woodford Double Oak yeah, store pick? That is amazing, like I was going to say. That. Pretty freaking good. How do I join the Discord? Um, somebody drop a link to Discord right now. James says, Holiday Soft Red Week Bottle and Bond is fantastic, and I totally agree. And TJ won't let me drink any more of it. Can't drink the rest of that. So we've got, we've got the Holiday Soft Red Week store pick, cash strength coming. We've got the bourbon cash strength coming. And, I, I mean, if y'all been watching the internet, there was another group that just released yes. an 18-barrel blend of I Ben Holiday. I've been watching. Um, it looks really good. I mean, I, I love, I, I support anybody doing cool stuff. So, I support, like, it's great. Great for them. I love them. Love them for doing it. But it just sucks because we're talking to Ben Holiday about doing the same thing, and I didn't know another one was coming, and it caught me by surprise. And now we seem derivative. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's too freaking cool to pass up. So yep. we've got our own Ben Holiday 18 barrel blend in the works. So we're going to go back up and we're going to buy more single barrels from them. We're going to have a ton more barrels coming. I want them to give us at least six barrels when we're there. <laughs> I don't know if they will. We we gotta we gotta we gotta work them. We got, I want three I want three um, weeders. I want three bourbons. I don't care Cash what we strength. get from Ben Holiday. And then I want an 18 barrel It's all blend. amazing. Anything we get from there, our whole, like, the first time we went was amazing. We're looking forward to going back oh, they're so fun. in June. So we're looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. More accessibility. You don't pay extra money to, in order to get under the barrel picks. So, more. I'll try to explain it the best I can. Uh, the higher tier you're in, the more access you have. You will go first in a higher tier. And so if we only have, so say there's one bottle that's super highly desired, like a Frey Ranch, realistically, it's going to be hard to get access at a lower tier because those are going to go to the higher tiers because the higher tiers go first and they have more availability to buy more bottles. But you don't have to be in a higher tier to get access to barrel picks. We are trying to make sure there are... That's why we're slowing down and making sure we're only releasing every two months so that there are enough bottles, enough barrel picks, so that it gets down through every single tier. So the drop we just did, every tier had access to a barrel pick, and then there was like open season where everybody could go back and buy more barrel picks. Um, so the holiday release was sold out in 40 minutes at their place. Online, they're still available, but there's like, I don't know, 3,000 bottles. So I understand that. Cameron asked me, how do I feel about the rare breed? I like the rare breed. I think the only thing that's like holding me back from saying that I really like the rare breed 
is I have, I'm, I'm sitting here contemplating it. I'm finding myself comparing it to the wood for double oaked. And I just am in love with that. God, that's so good. It is. It's a different thing. I think the wood That's a dessert. Exactly. That's it's a sweeter, dessert. And maybe that's what yeah. I'm. This is a whiskey. That's a dessert. That's, and that's where I'm leaning. To, uh, this yeah. is really good. I'm enjoying it. I, I really like it, but in my brain. But you're comparing a, you're comparing a ribeye to ice cream. Well, I prefer ribeye usually. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. But I'm just really leaning toward the Woodford Double Oak tonight. But the Rare Breed is very, very, very good. Like, I, I really do like it. But I'm just like stuck on the wood for tonight. We're way behind on super chats here. An opinion on Bowman Brothers? Shout out from South Carolina, old chum. I love the Bowman Brothers. We've got the was it a single barrel Bowman um, that was out of this world. We tried a couple of weeks ago. Really good stuff. Spencer super chatted and then retracted, um, and then super chatted again. So I'm going to jump to his super chat. Hmm. Can you ship to FPO AP? I don't even know what all those acronyms are, Spencer. Um, post it again. Don't super chat it again. Post it again. Let me know what that means. I have no, like, I'm not a shipping expert. Don't know what that means. Uh, but I want to get you answered because you like, super chatted twice. I'm assuming it's some sort of overseas shipping or yeah, something or like, I don't know. Military shipping I, I think, I think FPO is military shipping, but I don't okay. like, I don't know what AP, like, I don't know. I just want to make sure I get you answered. Just per. Just purchased my tickets for the Cat Head Ooh, event. See awesome. y'all there. Buck, awesome. That's going to be a blast. We're we'll going to have see a, you there. We're going to have a great time at that. Uh, Jay, love your channel, man. Binged all your vids during COVID. Thanks for your hard work. When is Canada going to be able to purchase bottles? We've been having a lot of conversations, but we're also trying to be legal. So we did just open up the ability to ship to Europe. I think we can get to six countries in Europe now. Um... I just don't know when they'll get legal in Canada. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm trying. I'm not sure. I apologize. Matthew Beard with the Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Chris, Thank like you, a Chris. boss. Matthew and Chris, Matthew and Chris, like a boss, just dropping Super Chats, no message. We don't want you to say nothing. <laughs> Sam, what smaller distilleries would you suggest to someone who favors the wild turkey flavor profile? Mm. <sighs> I mean, this turkey's got a little high rise. That's the spice. I, I, it's it's got a little nutty high rye, yeah. but I don't know any like smaller distilleries that have that. Like I don't know any that have that kind of nuttiness um, that that's going to have. So I don't know. Like I like a Crittenton's. Probably going to be like the Crittenton's high rye though is like super rye. So I I apologize, Sam. That's the problem with comparing small distilleries. Like honestly, comparing across distilleries. They're so different in how their whiskey tastes. There's nothing that really tastes like that from a small distillery that I've had yet. Jonathan, shout out from Wynn, Arkansas. Man, that was an awesome trip. Love that place. All right, so let's overseas military address. Mm -hmm. um, Spencer, send me an email, support at bruzel.com. We will see if that's a possibility. I, I will ask our retailer. So send us that email. We will literally, because I, I don't know. I will literally have to ask him and see if that's a thing. And if Grant, it's a thing, we will make it happen. Grant says we can ship to six European countries, just not AFPOs or AE boxes just yet. Well, there you We're go. We're working on it, apparently. Sorry about that. Have you had... Have you? Marty McCormick is coming to the Cathead Spilly event. Nice, Marty. Appreciate it. Thanks for supporting uh, I'm trying to read Matthew's super chat here. Have you, I'm assuming that's heard of. Heard of? H eardrum. So, Autocorrect, man, it gets me every time. If I'm on mobile too, like it's, <laughs> you can, nobody can read my text messages. Um, have you H eardrum crab trap whiskey? I have not heard of crab trap whiskey. There is like some distiller in Maine that's making whiskey out of mm. crab meat. Mm. Which I did see doesn't that sound like a great thing. I don't know if that's it or if that's somebody completely different. Okay. Um, James, Grant in the chat will let you know if Scotland is available. We haven't opened it up yet. It like we got we got word like right before our last barrel pig drop and we didn't open it up. 
Uh, have I had any corn whiskey? Yes, like 100% corn whiskey. Oh, I don't know if we... It. What when did we, we buy? Going, we bought a corn whiskey when we were going to um, Missouri. When we were in... Um, where were we at? Went to the cabin with... I remember. I don't know about 100% corn whiskey. We bought it somewhere. Oh, no, no. You're talking about mellow corn. Oh, yeah, mellow Yeah, yeah. We've got a mellow corn. Yes, I did. So I heard mellow corn's doing store picks. I need that. Chris says, would you get a wool cut pick from Total Wine? It's just Barton, man. I'll just go get a 1792 pick if I really wanted that. Randy with the super chat. Appreciate the support. All right, let's set up this blind before we run out of time. I'm going to look for any high-proof Buffalo Trace stuff we have behind us. We're going to see how it goes. So Scotland we cannot sure. ship to, but if you know somebody in another country like the UK mm. somewhere, um, then we can we can ship there. Bourbon Dad bought five tickets to Cathead event and driving from Indiana. Wow, thank you. All right, That's right there. That's awesome. Let's, let's just, I don't know which George T. Stagg this, or, or, or Stagg Jr. this is, but why don't y'all do me a favor? Is this gold? No, I th that's blanton straight from the barrel. Oh, straight from the barrel. Okay, gotcha. Don't, we're not picking William LaRue Weller. Actually, let's do this. I'm just going to pick. We're going to put the big boy up there. So I'm, I'm going to make me look like an idiot real, real quick. That's what's going to happen because I'm down for it. I don't care. Uh, you're going to have to just Didn't get some fresh glands. That's, oh, that's, that's the barrel proof. proof. That's the barrel proof. Um, so we're going to barrel proof those. Y'all let me know right quick. This one is 131 proof. This one is 130.2 proof. What, 17? 23C. I don't even know what that means, Nicholas. Oh. Give me 130.2 or 131. They want to throw the Weller foolproof in there? Maybe that this does, is, that's are we doing Eagle Rare too? No, just get that out of here. 131. I see two 131s already. 131s, it's already got six. I'm going to call it the winner because I got to... Oh, we almost knocked some bottles over. All it's right. It's because we have too many back there. There's a little There's a little much. There's a little much. There's a little much right there. There's a little much. Hand me that gold one. All righty. All right. One Blind two. those for me, Jill, and remember what they are. You got different letters on each one of those? I do. Turn the letters toward the camera. Okay. You keep them entertained, and I will keep them it. entertained. I'm going to entertain them with my echo. I'm going to come back out of this room here just a little bit so y'all can't hear my echo as bad. Here, I'm going to close the door. Get rid of that echo. I mean, I'm standing here looking at a wall now, so that kind of sucks a little bit. I'm glad y'all can't see the mess in here because everything came out of that studio room into this game room here beside the bar, and it's a mess. I'm looking forward to organizing it. Someday they want my you to life sing a song. will be organized. Huh? <laughs> Dustin says sing a song. Sing a song. I don't know really any he can't, songs. Yeah. It's weird. I've got uh, so a lot of folks come up to me and um, at, at work, and they were like, "Yeah, you could probably sing. I don't know, was it jazz or the blues or something with that voice?" And I was like, "Dude, I can't sing nothing. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. So not really, not really my. Th I want to. I wished I could. I'm sure if I, with a little training, I could probably figure out how to sing something. But I don't have any musical talent." I took my oldest daughter to guitar lessons today, and she's pretty good. I mean, she's had like one lesson so far, maybe two, and it's like, man, she can she can play a few things. It's like, hey, she's, you know, she's just getting started, but it's like she already has more musical talent than I do. All right. All you right. Come in. Coming back. Old school stream right here, boy. We just pour way too much whiskey, mm -hmm. and. Oh, yeah. uh, she would definitely be playing some Taylor Swift when she figures it out. Oh, that's for sure. happening. For sure. That's happening. All right. We're let's get already some planning our uh, new album release, Taylor Swift <laughs> party. That's 
That's a thing. Oh, I thought you were talking about her album. I was like, Oh no, not her album. The Taylor Swift. That might be a little early, Jill. She's had like one lesson. No, no, no. Taylor Swift is getting a new album, April the nineteenth, and there will be a listening. You've got this recorded. Like which letter is which? I got it. I I feel weird with this being F C E A. Got it. At least. Kind of backwards. Got it. At least there's some sort of rhyme and reason to that right there. I'll figure it out. I got it at least somewhat. Oh, yeah, I got you, it. You ties a no. You ties a is no. <laughs> <laughs> song song of the South. Sweet potato pie oh, and I shut, shut my mouth. mouth. Go. Go with the wind. Oh, my gosh. Ain't nobody it looking was so back again. funny. Last night at the restaurant, we were sitting there, and, um, oh, gosh, uh, what's this? Ice Ice Baby came on, and we were, like, singing it, like, because, of course, we know all the words to that. Because like, you're old. Yeah, because we're old. And we know the words to the, like, you know, the, what's it called? the Oh, Grant one go ahead. Sorry. What's that called when it's the chorus, I guess? That, that yeah, you know, it's yeah. Called, when, it's called, know, when it's yeah. the chorus, it's called the chorus, yes. Yeah, we would, um, we, we knew all that, so. So apparently we had some updates, some event updates that I was supposed to read, and Grant put a lot of work into them, and then I didn't read them. I just talked about spillway. So we're going to go over events real quick. And then I'm going to do this blind. So again, um, Friday night, April the 5th, we are going to be in Jackson, Mississippi at Cathead Distillery. I think it starts at around 5 o'clock, but Grant didn't put that in my thing here. And so there should be an event. They're dropping here. It's like 20 bucks. That gets you a Glen Cairn and a tasting event, tours and everything at the distillery. And then we've got Spillway's big um, block party. We're going to do an infinity barrel. You bring five bucks and an unopened bottle of whiskey. You get to dump it in. At the end of the day, we're going to pump it out. Uh, Sunday, apparently we're doing a Waffle House takeover Sunday morning before we get out of town. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know why. Like, it is a really bad idea. Waffle Houses usually have like 17 seats. Not that hard to take over a Waffle House, but apparently they're planning one. Uh, The end of April, early May. We are headed to Kentucky, uh, April 28th through May 5th. We're going to do a week-long experience for a handful of patrons. What is that about? I don't even know what that is. Yes, you do. We had it in the call the other day. I wasn't paying attention. Handful of one-off group experiences, creating your own bottle. Oh, that's where we're going to do some stuff with different folks. Okay. Live audience, live stream events, and then that leads up to the Kentucky Derby. So we're going to do a bunch. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Handful of patrons. We're going to go to, um, what's the restaurant? I don't I remember. I can't even remember the freaking I'm restaurant. I'm not going. Oh, you're not going. It's no, just going to be me going. and y'all. That even, but that, now there's no leg tapping. It gets completely and totally out of hand. I'm not going. Um, so it's going to be a very, like, it's going to be a small number. So that yeah. does free up one right here. But Will they, like, put that in the... Yeah, okay, y'all put it in the chat what the details yeah. of that is. But I, I remember we're, we're talking about doing some stuff with Watch Pursuit. Hill proper. Watch Hill Proper. That's, I was like, something proper. Uh, Watch Hill Proper, we're going to go there. We're going to have dinner. They're going to be able to do a, you know, you'll be able to, like, blend your own barrel, do some crazy stuff there. Like, we're talking about some crazy stuff there with yeah, different places. Sounds fun. Uh, and then the Kentucky Derby um, is, you know, that, that weekend. So hopefully we can get into the Kentucky Derby. I don't know. The infield, not my jam. That's just like a, mm. <laughs> that's a little rough. Um, Texas. So we're we're talking about maybe being in Austin mid-April if plans work out. We may be in Dallas in mid-May. Um, early June in Atlanta, we're looking at maybe doing some stuff at Whiskey X Festival. And maybe that will be accompanied by an ASW Distillery Takeover. Let me know if you're interested in that for early June. Mid-June, we're going to be back in Kentucky. Spillway has barrel picks at Four Roses, Russell Reserve, and a bunch of others. We're going to tag along for that. And then we're going to do another live stream event from Kentucky. Uh, So we're talking about maybe doing some stuff with Good Times. We've got Rabbit Hole, Pursuit Spirits, uh, Buzzard's Roost, as folks we're talking about right now, doing some stuff with on that second trip up to Kentucky. Late June, back at Ben Holiday, they have an event on a Saturday. Sunday, we're going to do a distillery takeover, buy a bunch of barrel picks. Monday, 
we're gonna do our own 18 barrel brusel blend. And then late July, we're trying to hit the East Coast. So we're, we're trying to work our way from DC up um, while it's still kind of warm. Um, and then maybe later in the year hit, hit South. Uh, early August, we're gonna be in Central Ohio. We're talking to several distilleries in Columbus, Ohio. Um, there's a local bourbon festival. And if there are any Ohio whiskey clubs that want to get involved, send us an email, support at brusel.com or grant at brusel.com if you would rather. And then there's a second page that seems to be empty. And now I got through all the events. I could drink some freaking well, whiskey. Well, Joe asked an interesting question. What's Joe got? Any local Opelika meetup events for Brusel? And we just talked about that today. We did talk it's about in it the today. Plans. We want to do it. We are working on maybe early October. Um, I'm trying to get some coordination with Red Clay to do something there. With Maybe we start, we keg all the barrels of beer we've got aging and do something like close to Red Clay. Uh, maybe we involve John Emerald and all of the distilleries we're working with. Um, so stay tuned. But we, we hope within the next few weeks, definitely within the next two months, we've got tickets available for sale for a local whiskey festival. Like we want something big, more than just a meetup. Now we might just do some smaller meetups as well, but we want to do something big for the local community. Don't gifted five Brusel memberships, appreciate it. And if y'all got one of those memberships, be sure to thank Donk for that. Eric says, so come to Santa Fe, New Mexico. We need to go to Santa Fe, New Mexico. That'd be a lot of I fun. I think we've been there. We before. went through there for a bourbon yeah. hunt, I think. What's the year on the George T? Um, I don't know if I had to guess. I bought that one probably 2020, 2021. It's going to be one of those two for sure. I don't know what Jeremy's. Jeremy says Matt Porter has to come. He promised. I don't know. Matt Porter has to come where? I don't know. Jeremy Ledford, he has to come where? Oh, to our event here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he'll make it. I hope he does. Love Matt. Mm, this is going to be tough. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Hard one. Hans. Hello from Seattle. Love the channel and I'm enjoying some Blanton's with you. Ever find fun bottles at Costco? We don't have a Costco here. We do not. So have the Costco. Costco, nearest Costco is like 45 minutes, an hour away. So we just don't have a membership. Sorry. Yeah, that's what Jeremy said to Opelika. He promised to come to Opelika. Okay. I'll have to hit him up. Get him here. We'd love to have Matt and his whole his family, his wife and his girls, come on down. Oh, my God. Now, which one of these is the super expensive bottle of George T. Stag? I don't know. Well, I do know. I, I, I do know. <laughs> Never mind. I do know. I might have to get serious about this. I'm going to have to look back at it, but I do know. Beach Sands still knocking on that door for 300 subs, three shy. Nice. Oh, keep, wow. Keep chugging along. You'll get there in awesome. no time. Don't need a membership of Costco Liquor. I mean, it's fine, but I don't think Costco in Alabama, even even then, I don't think yeah, they I sell alcohol. Think, yeah. I could be wrong. They might. They might. They might. Um, Kyle, sip it on Southern Star Paragon, Carolina Panthers, single barrel limited release. Far better than the team. Nice. I have some Southern Star Paragon in the weeded blind that we're going to do, or the weeded video we're going to do here pretty soon. So good stuff for sure. All right, so this is, whew, all of these are good. That, like, that goes without saying, right? Rufus, any plans for hunting in the Tampa area? Well, Rufus, we might be going on a cruise. What do you think about just letting everybody come on the cruise with us? Just putting out there what cruise we're going to be on and just let them book it. We're getting leg tapped. Y'all not going to know. So at some point. <laughs> not that one. We're going to yeah. go through this Florida. This is not ours. <laughs> including Tampa and then get on a cruise. So we should just, we just let folks know. I mean, no, that's not, not that one. You weren't on the call. You, you showed up late to the call. You missed that conversation. Uh-huh. 
We can do another one that's okay. for that. But not okay. that one. Okay. Papa Whip picked up a Rebel Cash Drink store pick and a Green River Rye, both really good. Those are good good choices. You did good there. And both of those pretty affordable. Like, that's what's great about them. Douglas Carver has a great question. What does Douglas say? Did you ever think this channel would be as successful and cloutful as it has become? I, dude, I'm trade right now. I'm spending two grand tomorrow to trademark cloutful. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's your trademark. I'm gonna have a shirt. Cloutful. My shirt's gonna be like cloutful. Uh, no, not, <laughs> not even close, man. Not even close, Douglas. Wasn't on the radar. No clue at all. Not a fraction whatsoever. of this. Whatsoever. If, if if we were right here right now at ten percent the number of subs and views we have. I'd have been like, yeah, that's about where we should be. But it's awesome. I mean. Love every bit of it. Yeah, we love you guys. Y'all have been amazing. The cruisal. The cruisal. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm picking nits over here is what I'm doing. Doing some nit picking. Do I ship to Maryland? Grant in the, I think so. Grant will let you know in the chat. Oh, single barrel cash strength. Um, we did a Green River rye, but we did it through short barrel. We do need a Green River, though. We need like a straight Green River, but we need some older, you know, more cash strength stuff from them. I don't own the word clout. <laughs> Man, this is getting, getting complicated, Jim. Is that hard? Like, they're all good. <laughs> they're all good. <laughs> Big Country says a Kentucky Lake Cruise 2024. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. What states do you not ship? We have somebody ringing the doorbell. There what is. states do you not ship to? Um, Alaska, Hawaii, but I think we, we can't flat rate ship, but I think we can add them for the next drop if we can figure out all the details. Um, Utah probably never can ship there. Michigan, but we'll be able to ship there by this summer. We had some issues with Massachusetts, but we're supposed to be able to ship there. Um, Grant can let you know the details of that. There you go. South Dakota. There you go. Who's that at the door? It's Jesse Montel. Oh. I was just telling the girls to let him in. But I can't find Ava's phone number. There it is. I don't know, it bothers me that I can't pick the George T. Stack out of this lineup. Like, I'm going to be honest, it bothers me. You can't pick it at all? It bothers me. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I have it. So, just so y'all know, I have not been drinking a lot of whiskey lately. Um, out, off of streams and videos. Um, I'm trying to drop a few pounds. And, and I've done good. Like, I've dropped a few pounds. I need... Yay. Ten times that number of pounds hey, to be dropped, but it's a start. A, it's a start. It's a start. And it's a, it's a start. So I've been like dialing back to drinking, and so my palate is just not where I need it to be for this subtlety, because <laughs> all of these are really good. Uh, someone asked, "Oh, Sam said, have you ever had anything from Company Distilling in Townsend, Tennessee?" Well, we bought a company. We bought a company rye, seismic rye from Company in the Tennessee hunt, and it will be featured after that video comes okay. out. I mean, I love Townsend. I was going to say, if we haven't, we should go back there. Uh, the, I mean, we'd go back because I Cause the rye is really good. I tried in. the rye so at a bar before. We, we had a little impromptu meetup at a um, cigar lounge in Knoxville where I tried it, and then we bought it, and it's pretty freaking good. We need to go back to Arizona or Arizona, Arkansas. Next year. Squeeze on a duck hunt, Jonathan says. Oh, okay. You want to eat some ducks? Nope. If Like, you don't have to kill them. You just want to eat them. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'll eat them. It's fine. Get I'll it. kill them and eat them. I like ducks. What's the date of the Brusel cruise? Apparently, we can't let you know. I, it's, we need that's our, we not need a the Brusel cruise. cruise. That's a like, why can't we just tell people? Like, we're not doing that's an a, organized thing. We just say, hey, we're, we're going to be on this cruise. We're going to be bourbon hunting all sorts of islands. I have not tried the Orphan Barrel 14 year, Channel 21. And I don't know what happened to Channel 1 through 20. 
You can't, you cannot, when you are invited on a cruise by someone else, you can't just. It's somebody else's cruise. Yeah. Okay. You can't just be okay. like, oh, hey, let's invite 75 <laughs> billion of our other closest friends. Jesus, quackers and cheese. Aw, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> quackers. But I'm not saying there shouldn't be a Bruzel cruise. I'm just saying. God. The fact that I'm running out of whiskey is killing me here because I'm getting into like very subtle, nuanced. Like I really like that one. That one's really good too. I need some I need some water before I get into this. What do of you hope? Of course your friend Seth. Yeah, you just, but you can't, you know. The PAB says we're hot. What's the PAB? Are you talking about like temperature or are you talking about like we're just really good looking? Because if you're talking about really good looking, I agree. Like I, dude, I, it's been a problem my whole life. I've gotten really fat just to try to combat it so people don't just walk up to me and try to touch my face. But, you know, I'm trying to slim down and I'm worried about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> Because I don't like people just touching my face. You're so crazy. Oh, I'm not. I want everybody to go on a cruise. All right. Cruise or cruise. Just be a different one. I've locked in an order. Okay. This is stressful. <laughs> They're all good. They're all good. There's only one, like C is the worst one. If I had to guess. C? Blanton straight from the barrel. But I don't know. I have no freaking clue. I have no freaking clue. Is that the George T. Stag? Did you say C? Yeah. Yes, the Stag. Well, so, but that bottle's been open for like four years. Okay. So my assumption is it's just oxidized. Okay. Like my assumption is it's ah. just oxidized. Yep, that is the stack. Because the flavors are just a little muted on it. Okay. So my assumption is, it, like, all the other ones are much, much newer bottles than this one. Stag, like, George T. Like that one right there. This guy. Oh, no, this one. Oh, okay. Well, that's better. That's the worst. Yeah. It's, and that one's been open for a while. Honestly, probably similar in, in how long they've been open. So next is F. F is the Taylor. E.H. Taylor, barrel proof. Yep. Next one's E. E is the George T. Stag. That's the George T. That one was close. E and A really stood out. A is the straight from the barrel blends. <laughs> don't, hit the, don't hate the messenger. I'm just saying. That was the message he's putting out tonight. Don't hate the messenger. I've got picture proof if anybody needs it. That's exactly what it was. And I'm not apologizing because I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've had an old pepper bottle in bond. I did have a, I have an old pepper bourbon. I had an old pepper decanter. My bourbon I had, I didn't really like. The decanter, really good from old pepper. So if you can find that like pineapple-y looking decanter, really good stuff. Um... Let's see, I think I talked about Channel 21. Eddie put in a uh, super chat there. All right, so I'm going to jump on. I'm going to take like a five-minute break, go run to the restroom, try to get a fresh DPZ right here, and uh, I will jump into Discord, hang out in that chat. Um, so if you are a supporter and you've got your patron account linked to Discord, you should be able to jump into that. If okay. not, hop into the regular Discord Hit up somebody, and we'll get you fixed. Probably not going to be able to do that tonight. So we're done. That's it, man. We are. It's an hour and a half. We're yeah. going to go. At, we started a half oh, hour late. I thought we're we going to go an hour and a half. Got you. I wasn't aware of that. That's what we're, we're trying to do. We're changing it up a little bit. We're oh. just trying to check it out. Let me know, y'all. Let me know right now in the chat. You're like, hey, hour and a half wasn't enough. What's wrong? Yeah, because like, I was like, I thought right it was going now, two hours. right now, TJ's just getting good because he had all the high proof stuff. <laughs> Don't and know. Jill stay here. I'm just going to roll and I'm going to leave Jill. You want to have the ha last half hour by yourself? Absolutely not. I would not know what to do. Oh, my goodness. Last time people thought I was boring, so I, I can't. 
I can't take stay that pressure. Li- Matt says stay live for 24 hours. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're trying different things. Like, we're mixing it up. We're trying to figure it out. Like, so we're looking at the metrics very hard of these live streams, and the last half hour, the numbers start to dip. So we're like, oh. well, it's maybe maybe it's because we went live at 8, and we, we, you know, we canceled or we ended that at 10. And so maybe that, like, 9.30 to 10 is too late. And so we moved to seven, but it's kind of like, we're still really strong. The last half hour is a little better, but like maybe two hours is just too long. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to go with tonight. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Had a great time. Good night, everybody. I'm going to be in Discord here in about five minutes. (laughs) We'll catch y'all next week. I'm expecting the folks from Spillway. Worst case, it's going to so be no me deal. and Jill. Worst case, it's going to be me and Jill. Worst case, like that's yeah. a worst case. That's your worst case. That might you be your, Jill. That Sorry. might be that might be your best case, depending on what you're looking for from the stream. That didn't sound so. It good. might be. I'm just saying, like worst case, we're going to be streaming. Worst case is Jill. That's a that's a good case. I'm trying to tell them show up next Monday because good case. You'll at least have Jill. Worst. That's a worst case. I mean, you're a given, so we know yes. we're going to get you. I'm always here, like. One week, I hope I just don't show up and you stream without me. Uh, that's gonna. That's be, what I want. That, maybe in a couple years. I just want Jill to stream maybe without. Maybe I'll me. be comfortable enough in a couple years to do that without you. Appreciate y'all showing up, hanging out. We'll catch y'all later. Good night. <laughs>